Hey, what's going on everyone? Today, I'm adding another part to what I'm now calling the Build Your First PC series. Real quick, I'm hosting a giveaway for Rust and City Skylines. Links are in the description. So today, I'm going over an important topic. What do you buy? SSD or HDD? I'll be honest, I don't think an SSD is necessary to live your life day to day. I just don't. Maybe that's just because I'm too poor to afford one, but... <laughs> Regardless, I have done a couple of tests today which I think perfectly sum up the experience of owning a basic hard drive and you can determine for yourself whether or not you need an SSD after watching. I know I should try bashing hard drives as much as I can like some people out there, but not today. The hard drive we'll be testing is this model right here and it's fairly new, only a year and a half old so it won't be biased towards the drive that I had sent to me. The performance here should be indicative of any modern 6 gigabit SATA SSD hard drive that you buy today which isn't that bad. HDDs aren't the devil like everyone says right? Let's start the test. So first thing in the morning, I wake up and here we are, ready to boot the computer. How long will it take? A fresh start from the very beginning of my day all the way up to me opening Opera Developer and browsing Reddit with no slowdowns from everything loading. This took us about 2 minutes and 14 seconds to go from pressing the power button all the way to browsing reddit properly with no slowdowns. That is very slow, yes, when you count it, but button press to desktop like some people show is a bit faster. Booting to Counter Strike Go is similarly slow, it boots in almost 40 seconds exactly. Then timing from when a match is found all the way to when we load in and pick a team is another 54 seconds good lord I've never timed this before but I had no idea it was that slow. Next it takes 25 seconds to open up Nexus Mod Manager to show you what mods I have for Skyrim. Then to load up the Skyrim modded through Skyrim script extender takes us 40 seconds. I'm level 53 and I have all kinds of things in the save. I've beaten the game and have all the good stuff and it only took us 40 seconds. Fast traveling from Windhelm to Solitude only takes 9 seconds, then quick loading back to Windhelm, again, only 9 seconds. Some last minute tests, let's load up GIMP and a 25 megabyte XDF file and that takes almost no time at all. This is a 4K image also. Regular browsing use isn't that bad either, so what's up with that? What I'm trying to get at is owning a big old fashioned 3.5 inch hard drive isn't that bad. Sure it takes a while to load some things, but if I hadn't timed it, I honestly wouldn't have noticed it took so long. So 2 minute boot up time seems fast to me and any faster than that doesn't really matter, though it may matter to you. There's really nothing wrong with using regular old hard drive, you get normal performance for a normal price. Plenty of storage too, so if you're happy with just fine, you'll be just fine without an SSD. What if you want your boot cycle to go from 2 minutes to 1 minute? What about finding match to CSGO, actually getting in the game, 54 seconds to maybe 20 seconds? Is that 20 seconds worth the price of an SSD? I think, if you're in the market for building a computer in the first place, it wouldn't cost that much to include a 256 gig SSD for your most important games and your OS, then a secondary storage drive for all your other media. Other than that, if you can afford to go all SSDs, go for it, and everything on your computer will be just a little bit faster, making your life just a little bit better. But if you can only afford one storage drive, a regular spinning disk hard drive will be, again, just fine. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see the rest of the videos in my Building Your First PC series, there will be a link to a playlist right here, and go ahead and check out a few of my other videos while you're there too. Like and subscribe to show your support, and again, thanks for watching, have a great day.